Hey, what's up YouTube? Uh, so today, uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'll be installing those uh, telescopic stabilizer arms on my Kubota L391. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate in a couple seconds why I'm going with this. Um, so the main reason is I just, I'm not a fan of the turnbuckles. I find they're, uh, especially, well, if you have a, a lot of attachments for your three-point hitch, um, it, like this here makes it a lot easier to just adjust your things uh, the way you want them set up. And like I also have a quick hitch, a uh, Spico, uh, Spico uh, category one quick hitch. So like having this here with the hardware is just gonna make it so much easier to uh, switch my uh, implements and then uh, dial them in. So like they, like they actually go to like the proper height. So um, I'm gonna be using like the, so that's what the kit came with. So, uh, anyways, I didn't really look at the instructions yet, but uh, I'll, I'll kind of go like step by step. I've watched a couple of videos to it in the past, so see how she goes. All right, so what I'm going to be replacing is those uh, two arms on the sides. So as you can see here, I'll kind of do close up, but it's like the turnbuckles here. Uh, anyways, I'm not a big fan of those, so like what I'm going to be doing is I'll just unbolt this. Remove the pin there, and then uh, install the telescopic arms. So next step is just going to be removing the cutter pins uh, that's in there. Anyway, it's on both sides. So I'm going to need both hands, so I'll just put the camera aside for a second so as you can see uh, like looking at both the uh, parts here so like when you look at them it's not hard to see why I'd like to uh, change the setup so just uh, first of all the amount of strength in that uh, rectangle tubing versus like the round rods is gonna be better um, I also didn't want to just like adjust my stuff all the time with this as like opposed to basically you just pull the pin and then uh, so you can just slide that out to make make it as long as you want and then uh, if you want some movement so you have like this slot here that's machined so like i'd say like using the snowblower if you want it to go uh, to able to like kind of sway from side to side a little bit then uh this will allow you to do so all right so first thing you want to do is just slide that in there so these will go on the outside just because uh it'll link to your uh attachment there in your subframe then you use the uh lock washer that was that came with the tractor uh, the kit came with nuts so I'm gonna use those but I could have just reused the one that came from the factory uh, just want to just put a bit of Loctite on there the old blue Loctite and then the nut is just a 15 16th uh, so I'm just gonna hand tight it for now so All right, so one side done. I uh, just gotta finish tightening it up. Um, I did a bit different than on the instructions. So like this here, I guess like the kit came with the um, bolts for it, and uh, it was only drilled for three sixteenths. Um, I'd rather have a, a pin just because it, like in, in the wood, sometimes you don't have like all the tools to remove uh, a bolt, but like I'm sure I'll have pliers in my toolbox anyways. Um, yeah, that's that's what it's gonna look like. So the chain 
so like to make sure that you don't lose this pin so like it's like the chain goes through like it can't come out so All right, so um, this is what it looks like uh, compared to like the turnbuckles. So anyways, if you have an L-series, uh, I'd highly recommend getting that upgrade. Um, the one thing though that uh, you might have to do is uh, do like I did uh, and install the wheel spacers. Um, a friend of mine has an L2501 and um, so he bought those stabilizers there, the telescopic ones. Um, and uh, anyways, with the industrial tires on, uh, he was rubbing on them and ended up bending the arms. So um, like you can see here, I got loads of clearance, but if I didn't have three inches of uh, spacers, it'd probably be pretty tight. So it's just one thing to keep in mind. Um, so yeah. Uh, I guess the list of mods is getting shorter now. So if you like that video, uh, please uh, hit that like button. Um, subscribe, share, um, and I'll see you in the next one.